hey guys, if you would like to support the brand and enjoy some fine, fine outerwear, I'd like to direct you to the shoparkimoto.com store where you can find hats, socks, shirts, uh, and a variety of other items. Um, one thing that you won't find are shorts, uh, which brings me to uh, something I want to address uh, right up, which is uh, we have, Arkimoto has been um, uh, received from a number of our stakeholders concerned messages about uh, a recent short seller report by the ironically named Benitas Research Company. Um, and I want to address sort of heads up, uh, straight up the, the elements of this uh, report and then put it into a little bit of, of context. So, uh, you know, the report carries very serious allegations about the company's practice. And I want to say straight up, uh, it is a report that is chock full of falsehoods and misrepresentations, starting with the very first one. Uh, it alleges that the company has faked pre-orders in order to fake demand. Um, this is laughably false. Uh, Arkimoto, we consider Arkimoto's practices regarding pre-orders. Now, to be clear, Arkimoto has accumulated something getting near 5,000 net pre-orders uh, in, in the course of its uh, 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 existence. Uh, we consider our practice regarding pre-orders to be best in class for the industry. Uh, we have uh, a, never considered email signups to be pre-orders, for example. We have seen other companies go out there in the vehicle space, collect tens of thousands of email signups, and then claim that they had tens of thousands of pre-orders. We have not done that. Uh, we have seen companies build pre-order books uh, based on non-binding letters of interest alone, collecting tens to hundreds of thousands of, of indications of interest. Uh, Arkimoto has not done that. To date, our pre-order numbers do not include at all any non-binding letters of interest, although we do reserve the right to go look for non-binding letters of interest from potential fleet customers as indications of market demand. And going back to our IPO, we have always characterized pre-orders as strong sales leads. When, a, when an individual customer cracks open the wallet, puts down a hundred bucks, fully refundable at any time for any reason, we consider that a strong sales lead, not a booked sale, and we have never characterized them as such. The report goes on to allege that Arkimoto has deliberately hid our relationship with one of our key early investors, uh, who also is our first franchisee for rentals in Key West. And again, this is a, a gross distortion. Arkimoto has been clear about our relationship with FOD Capital it, since our disclosure of their investment in Arkimoto in 2018. The idea that this franchise is a, a, a 2018 scheme to pump and dump in 2020, we think is utterly absurd. Uh, and the report went on to make uh, what we think is a grave accusation that Arkimoto has failed its obligation uh, to report uh, its, its recalls through NHTSA to its customers. Again, this is totally false. Uh, they made mention of one of our customers, uh, Go-Kart Tours down in San Francisco, that they had contacted Go-Kart Tours and Go-Karts had said that we had not notified them of recalls. So I'm just going to quote what uh, uh, Nathan, uh, the CEO of GoCars said, he said, I was never contacted. And as far as I'm aware, no one in the company has been contacted by anyone regarding recalls on any of our vehicles, certainly not anyone who has any relevant knowledge on the matter. Uh, further, we would never share that kind of information with an unknown third party. We suspect this was a fabrication. We are in frequent communication with Arkimoto and have been notified of all recalls. We have pre-ordered 40 Arkimoto vehicles, and we have so far converted two of those pre-orders into final sales. Like many businesses in San Francisco, we were forced to close during the pandemic, and the timing wasn't ideal to move forward with the purchase of 38 new tourist rentals at one time. Arkimoto is a valuable partner, and we look forward to adding more FUVs to our fleet when the time is right. Uh, so the, the, the question I think I want to... Are the, the note I want to let our investors know about, because again, a number of you have written to us and asked about uh, the allegations in this report, and then of course the follow-ons 
uh, from legal firms who posted repeated press releases on our ticker. Um, and to understand that we believe that this report uh, and the other five short seller hit pieces that have come out about Arkimoto since our last earnings call are an effort to deliberately mislead investors, uh, cause investor lack of confidence in Arkimoto stock and depress Arkimoto stock price in order to profit. Um, this uh, is something that is is known. It's a it's a, a sort of a dark secret of this particular uh, market that we're in. Scheme called short and distort. And so, uh, at this point, the, what all we all we're really recommending is that our investors familiarize themselves with short and distort schemes. Um, and to understand further the context, so uh, what we noticed as uh, since our last earnings call, uh, and and really all throughout 2020, Arkimoto has seen. Uh, a, a tremendous appreciation in the value of its stock, um, at, particularly after the November call. And we started to notice in public filings on NASDAQs an accumulation of significant short interest uh, in the company. And as, uh, as that short interest increased, we saw an increasing volume in these so-called hit pieces. Uh, so we, we think this is a, a transparent attempt to manipulate Arkimoto stock, shake confidence in the company. Uh, and to those of you out there who are attempting to manipulate Arkimoto stock uh, with hit pieces in order to profit, uh, we believe that you are barking up the wrong tree. Um, and so that is one of the reasons why I am happy that we have a new merch item available in our merch store as of just yesterday, our Go Long Johns. They're great for those, those cold long runs and perfect for covering your shorts.